they've happened to me. And I can tell you, like, if Jamie was here, he would be a witness to that. Like, I remember one time I was telling him, um, you know, I was looking into getting fish. And then all of a sudden, this girl says, I'm looking to get rid of these fish. And it, within the week, I had a fish tank and fish in my apartment. Well, you know what you I say? Mean? I'm looking to get some a million dollars or win the lottery uh, or something. All I need is five million dollars. Yeah. Right. Like, but what I'm saying is, is it coincidence? You know, is it like... I think sometimes that's the laws of magnetics, too. Correct. Sometimes we materialize right, what yeah. we want. Right. You manifest it. Well, I was wanted like a pipe bender at the shop. And, and now then, there's one. And now there's one. And, and, and pipe bend. like a $20,000 machine pipe bending. But Did you ever pray for it? Um, I asked God for it. Okay, so you have. So I have, 100%. But I don't, I, like, like, do I... You don't, think, you don't believe. Like do, like, do I think God granted me that? I can't say. Because... Unless, unless God granted me that, that it should be in the will of God for me. Understand? But I can't see myself praying for a bike. Listen, if you believe it, it will be so. And God says that. If you believe it, it will be so. No, but I so also anything you believe I'm going to win the lottery. I haven't won the lottery. So. <laughs> you know, it's just probably that's not in God's will, you know? Right, but it has to be in God's will, right? If that's something He doesn't want for you, then right? But I prayed for like lots of things that I didn't get, you know. But right. but the one thing I did want was a pipe bender machine. You got it. And yeah, and my friend Turk is a witness to that because I told him about it, and all of a sudden, did I have this amazing friggin' at the shop? It's not mine, but it's there, right? You know? and like I said, Jamie would be a witness to me talking to him about having a fish tank. Same oh, week, I oh. had a fish tank with fucking fish in my apartment. Okay, but you're... For free! A five hundred dollar tank. Okay, but your example, did you pray for fish? Did you no, but I, Jesus but I told... Fish? No, but... I'm so not, you, you manifested it She yourself. thought it. Yeah. Right, but I thought it. And I've always... I always felt... I'm going to tell you right now, straight up. I've always felt like God was looking at me. Yeah. And I'm not... I've always felt I'll like... I'll agree with that. I've always you know, felt like right, right. God... I'll agree with that. You know, always had, like, uh, like I always felt like God was listening. You know what I mean? Like a hand in your dealings. Right. Like, if if God wants, if like I just felt like my heavenly Father gave it to me. I felt that way. Well, that's it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. Well, anything that happens to me, dude, I've learned. Like when I get jobs at the shop, like to me, in my mind, that's heavenly sent. You know, like. Like I was telling my mom the other day, I was like, dude, God has been very good to us. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. Because God has been more than generous with my family and dad, dude, in my mind. Yeah. And listen, I'm not and saying... Even, even with a loss, I still feel... Yeah. You know, so... Like he's been there. Right. Because in a way, even the loss feels like he took it for a reason. Okay. You know? Yeah. Nobody, nobody can disagree with that. Okay, all right. Well, all right. Well, like the, the thing I'm talking about about witchcraft and all that stuff, right? And I told you the way God has. Uh... Listen, God hasn't abandoned us that I feel, but He has, He has punished us in, in some ways. Like me, psychologically, my sister, dude, God took Carlos' daughter away. The crazy part is that He also took Beba's child away. You know, so. And then we took our father away. Yeah. But even our loss, we still love. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well. But it took my dad took the loss of his father very differently. You know, he was not happy. No, my listen. I I think he questioned his faith for a little bit. Well, who doesn't, right? You know, like, like we're all human beings. Now, getting back to witchcraft, I wanted to mention witch doctors, right? Because those are typically men. Yes. Okay. For the most part. Not all, but yeah. I forgot about that. Wait, 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 wait. When we were discussing... Most witch doctors are men. Shaman. Right. Shaman. Yeah, shaman are the men, right? I think. Okay. Well, you have like... Um, I think, I think, I think. Like, a, you know, you have places where women go and they pay these 
guys to cast spells on men or women or yeah. situations. Yeah. I need more money. I need this. I need well, well, like I said before, that those are people trying to manipulate reality. But how? I mean, obviously, if these people are making money and they're having client like a clientele, right? Like different people that come to them and pay them to do things. Yeah. Obviously, some of these things must be working. One hundred percent. Because right. there's no way they keep on making money, and especially with the same people. Right. Like it has, it has to some some kind of some type effect, of effect, right? right? Exactly. Occurring. Right. Um, I'm not in denial of that. I I just and like in my point of view, I don't think it's healthy. Like I don't think it's no, good. No, I, I don't think it's like I, I don't think it's good for your soul to want to go somewhere and want to manipulate reality for your bit. You know. I, I always felt uh, you know when I in hear about on, in terms of something spiritual because obviously when you go get some witchcraft done or whatever right mm -hmm. as a spell mm -hmm. that's all spiritual thing right. it's, 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 you know obviously if you cook an orange and a and some weeds on it that, that's nothing there has to be a meaning behind and the meaning by default has to be spiritual it cannot be like the apple doesn't have spirit or something well, oh, oh, well I that. think I think that when you use nature for medicine it's witchcraft but that's just my opinion. No, no, oh, right. Okay, here saying. okay, here goes to her point about um like are you taking like a like an a, earthly supplement? No, no like right, something? like 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 a vitamin or something. I, like that's not witchcraft because that it, 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 it's it's like saying, I'm not saying vitamin, like, vitamin. No, but no, but that is an earthly thing, right? It's like saying if you eat it's a, it, it's a it's a witchcraft, you know, like I don't, like I don't think that's correct. I think. I, I disagree. Huh? This is good for you to record because this is a good thing. You know, you can get feedback. It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Oh. Yeah. We are recording. Right. So I don't think that that's um, I don't think that supplements are witchcraft. Witchcraft have to mean and like it has to mean something. You know, like like how people say that um, everything's a religion. Like no, it's not. Like religion has to mean something. If if everything is it, what if everything? Yeah, really. No, what people say. Like my brother Carlos would say, like, like if you're into tables and that's your religion, you know, like re religions have to mean something. Like if everything's a religion, then nothing's a religion. Yeah, sorts of like beauty, right? Well, I mean, I remember <laughs> hearing a lot of spells being like mainly women casting spells on men for love, right? Really, I would, I, would, I would think it's like the the opposite. opposite. Yeah, like men, men casting spells on because, women you know, to be in love with them. Nah, I think so. Yeah. But anyway, I'm not. But saying. let's just say, let's just say, hypothetically, mm -hmm. that works. Mm -hmm. That works. You, you're in love with some guy, and naturally, you just don't feel like he's giving you that kind of attention. And you're like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Well, I'll go to a witch doctor and put, put a spell on this dude, and then it starts happening. Are you really satisfied with that? Like, if it didn't right, happen naturally, right? It, it's not genuine. Well, I, what's exactly what I mean? Like, this is the other the, the other part. I was having a conversation with it because she's into Satanism. She and yeah, um, this this person oh. I was having a conversation with, and I told her, in the Satanic Bible, it's uh, the the Satanic Bible is mostly for men, because that's where Antoine Levey starts speaking about. Um, how to manipulate and spells to get women to do things for you, right. and I and I and I was telling her, I was, how could you be okay with that stuff? That's like, that's like mind controlling somebody for your sexual it, pleasure. Right. It's, it's, you know? I, I think it's not feeling guilty for whatever you do sexually. Well, okay. You know. All right. So all right. All right. So that type of spell, it's like it's like drugging somebody. It's, it, it's like it's like date rape. It's spell. a guilt free <laughs> trip. I, I don't know if it's guilt free. No, but it is. I mean, they're into orgies and and they don't feel like as long as it's 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 a pleasure no, principle no, going. No, no, but you have to be in a but you have to be in a person's mind. But you have to be in a person's mind to say that they're guilty or not guilty, because some people do crime and they're still guilty, but dude, for some reason their sinful nature just makes them freaking do it, right? So, um, to like to put a spell on somebody so you can have so you can have sex with them that's like you know and then and then they do it because of influence by that spell that to me is like some sort of like rape right um, in some kind of strange way because it's like it's like drugging them 
to to that's to a good way you know to make them I a, never thought about it like to to time. loosen them up right so a, like a sexual like a sexual spell it's like you going out to a bar and someone giving you a drink to get you to loosen up right. that's it's but the same it, thing is it the liquor or is it just that kind of freeing you up from your shackles well, it's it's is it, does, does, does that well, it's does that activity with is it that already within you? Well, okay, all right. And the liquor is just kind of freeing you. All your... right, all right. Check this out. Look, if if you have to be intoxicated, all right, it, it all comes down to your mind, right? So the spell will be a spiritual intoxication for you right. to do their bidding. The alcohol is a chemical, physical intoxication to do their bidding but it's all mental they're trying to manipulate your mind to do something sexual for them so in like in effect the sexual spell is the same thing it's like giving somebody a drink and then they're they're you're you're, you're controlling them in that sense it's like artists who claim they need drugs to be creative i don't know if that's the same you know How, are they, listen uh I don't want to say an untalented person. If I can't draw, no matter no matter what kind of drugs you give me, I'm not going to be able to draw on the drugs either. Right, right. You know what I mean? I have to have that within me. Yeah. The drugs may enhance my focus. Well, I think, or... well, I, think I think what you're saying is that artists has to have uh, needs drugs. Some people, some artists claim they need drugs to get more influence per se. What I'm trying to also say yeah. is, I, I've been drunk and haven't done stupid things and blamed it on my me being drunk. Wait, I don't follow. <laughs> because we're talking about alcohol, and yeah. if that's something that changes a person's um, no, but that's, attitude. No, but that's you. I'm talking about if you use alcohol to have a girl. But do, you compared that to putting, um, a, somebody yeah. putting a spell on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Yes. So that's a, contr- a complete control of your mind. One hundred percent. It's 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 controlling your mind. Well, okay. I wouldn't say one hundred percent control of your mind, but it it certainly serves a certain amount of control. Like when somebody gives you liquor or some type of drug because they want to do something sexual to you. Obviously, they cannot completely one hundred percent control your mind, but what they can do is control some parts of your mind. You know what I'm saying? Plus, it also takes talking and the intoxication. With, with the spell, it, it takes a spell and talking and being in close proximity and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's it's a it's two forms of control that I, I I can't say I agree with because, like, okay, put it this way, like, every, like every time, like I don't do drugs. I don't smoke pot, I don't drink alcohol. Every time I've gotten laid, I've never had to flip a girl to drink. You know what I'm saying? I never had to do something like that. Like everything was just genuine. Like right. it's, it's genuine inspiration per natural. Me. Right, no spells involved. Like if, you, like if you're out on a bar, with usually 90% of people that go to bars, well, they're there for what? They're there to get laid. Or they're there to get a number. You know what I'm saying? E- like even girls that go to bars they know that dudes are there trying to get a number trying to get a kiss trying to get laid it's not like they don't know right you know, you know but, 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 but that's a different to topic before, even, even, even with drunk people that blame whatever they did the night before mm. I know some people can black out usually when you black out you pass out you're not quite I've, I've never blacked out so I would have you know you'll just fall asleep you get sick you want to go lay, yeah, lay in bed yeah, and yeah. go to sleep you're not going to be active a lot of people blame stuff on being drunk when I think that they remember what they were doing. It's something that already exists within them. And them getting loose off of liquor or whatever they're doing just kind of enhances that animal that's within them anyway. Yes. Right, right. That's it's all like, I was trying to say before. Right. It's like the nature... They're blaming it like, oh, that wasn't me, but it was you. Right. It was just the enhancement of you. Or people that claim like, oh, you know, that wasn't me when I was doing well, drugs and doing these things. Well, that wasn't really me. But well, well, it? well, good. Well, was it good. Me? Well, all right. Check out this point. So some people are really happy people until they drink, like whiskey. Some okay, people. You like, have I've, happy drunks and you have. Yeah, I, I, drugs. I've heard that, like certain whiskey, types of liquors. That's why like, they call spirits. Well, I've heard that some type of liquors make people angry. 
t- some type of liquors make people cry. I think, right, or some of that. You know what? You know, I, I have it, but that and might and be you true. and usually those usually people that are like that, they're not that type of person. But for some reason, that the chemical imbalance of being intoxicated makes them the person that they're not. 